Okay, go. Okay, so we're here at the Promised Land Gardens, and uh, we are going to try to get these dandelions that we've been picking the heads off of all day. Another great use for them is to dig out the root to make into uh, medicinal tea and really great coffee substitute when it's roasted. Um, but really good tool to use to get it out is called the Hori Hori. Um, shovel works too, or you can just try to pull it out by hand, but this thing's really makes it a lot easier. And you just kind of go in around the root and loosen the soil up. And then you just give it a little pull and it should come right out. And then there we have a nice little tiny root. Some are bigger than others, some are smaller, but that looks like a pretty good size one. And uh, what we do is we just take it like this and um, take off the top, which Hari Hari is also really good for just cutting it clean off. And we'll take it inside and give it a wash and um, Henry will show us how to uh, cut and dry them later. Just want to get this small enough so that uh, the water will uh, de dehydrate out of it and we'll put it in the dehydrator. And then we will um, toast it in the oven after it's all dried out and then you can just make it like you make coffee and it is a wonderful liver tonic and a all around health, good health drink. It's like the opposite of coffee. It'll make you healthier drinking it every morning. Okay. So here we are at this last stage of the processing. So, so far we picked the dandelions, took the tops to make into wine. We dug the roots out from the garden there and from some yards around town. Um, cleaned them off, chopped them up. We got them here all chopped up nicely into little pieces. Get them as little, well, as little as you can. Not too tiny. I mean, just little tiny squares works pretty good. They can get pretty big. and. It'll dry out fine. Um, try to do it as consistently as possible. And then today we're going to dehydrate it um, in a dehydrator, which I have up there, which is called the Excalibur dehydrator. You can use your oven um, at a low temperature, like around 130 for a certain amount of time. Um, I'm not too keen on how that works just because it's a little trickier and I have a dehydrator, so I'm just going to use that today. Uh, and what we're going to do is, the dehydrator is currently set at 145. I'm going to leave it at that for two hours to initially get the water out and then turn it down to about 115 and leave it overnight for around 12 hours to finish up the dehydrating and I'll just check on it when it's done. Um, should be fairly dry and similar to, uh, oh, I don't know if you've ever had licorice root tea or something like that similar consistently. So you should make sure just that there's pretty much no water left. Um, and what I'm doing is just spraying it around on these little sheets uh, fairly evenly. And then I'm going to stick each sheet in the dehydrator. And then we'll kick it on. That's awful. 